Uh, but anyway, we're, we actually do have another topic to talk about today, and uh, it sort of relates to my Red Alert, because we're going to talk about soundtracks, and I'm going to talk about the Red Alert 3 soundtrack, uh, which is notable, because I think it's the first Red Alert game that Frank Klepaki, I think his name is, wasn't, he didn't do the entire soundtrack, and he's been a staple of the Command & Conquer series for a long time, and... Um, uh, I absolutely adore Red Alert 3, the soundtrack, because it's heavy metal, uh, but mixed with Japanese, when it's a Japanese theme, it's very Japanese, so to speak. You have a lot of these uh, singers in the background, and you have, like, you can really imagine them standing, like two samurai standing on top of a hill in a stormy weather, and they're like, a ching ching, and you can really hear the music there, I love it. Um, but... I'm a hardcore fan of the entire Command & Conquer series soundtrack up until Command & Conquer Generals, I think, then plus Red Alert 3, because I haven't really listened to them after that. Um, but yeah. So the music's just good about setting the tone, you're saying? Yeah, no, but in the first games, they were really, like, hardcore. There's a lot of heavy metal in it. There's a lot of guitars, heavy guitars, too. And, you know, it has some really 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 good songs in it you know everybody knows well basically everybody knows the hell march the grinder and you know so forth uh, but there's a lot mm -hmm. of good songs in it and frank klopaki who did it he's he's a genius with the heavy guitars he's great uh, i dare you to play it on guitar hero <laughs> it's uh... really crazy good i love them uh you know i can listen to them and just you know i just listen to them not just as game music because I do, usually do, do only listen to game music. I'm sort of nerdy like that. Uh, but this is music that I think that a lot of people can really like without liking the games. I think they're really good that way. So the, the whole Command & Conquer series? Up until Generals, yes. Okay. Uh, Command & Conquer, Command & Conquer, Tiberian Sun, uh, Red Alert, Red Alert 2, Red Alert 3. I cannot vouch for Generals or Command & Conquer 3 and 4 because I have not played those games except for... Generals and Command & Conquer 3, which I played very briefly, and I will get into that in due time. Mm. But right now, um, only Command & Conquer 1, 2, which is Tiberian Sun, I think, and the Red Alert series. I love those games, and I love those games and soundtracks in general. I think they're really good, so check them out. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it for now, anyway. Do you have any soundtracks? Uh, whole soundtracks? Do it, can I no, you can do it songs, single songs. Or? All right. You can do individual songs. Huh? I'm nice today. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I am. No, Don't worry about it. <laughs> but uh, something, because I've got back into just actually the last few days, uh, because I am subscribed to Brental Floss on YouTube, if anyone... Okay, yeah. Do you do you listen to his stuff at all, or...? No, I don't, but I think I've heard some of his stuff. Oh, but... Okay, well... um. I think it was actually at the MAGFest that they did this. Uh, it might have been at some other convention, but it doesn't matter. Um, he does oops, he does old game soundtracks and puts the lyrics to them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, think I remember Like he that. did the DuckTales yeah. uh, moon theme. Yeah. Uh, he's done the Final Fantasy uh, ending credits song. Oh, cool. And it, it it's, all pretty, it's all pretty funny stuff. And uh, he was actually on... Um, uh, what was it called? What's it called? Games Live, I think. That big uh, concert that they have for game music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Games Live, I think it is. Yeah, Games Live, I think is what it's called. And uh, he did um, a song for that the last time I did it, and it was um, he did uh, "What a Wonderful World." I can't remember who sings it, and I'm, I feel horrible for that. <laughs> The, yeah, the, the song with a wonderful anyway. world. Uh, he changed it to. Uh, he did a parody version of it called Super Mario World. Okay. And it's pretty funny, but um, I'm getting sidetracked here. He did. He did uh, World Two Two Blues, or One Two Blues, or whatever. I can't remember the the Water World in uh, Super Mario Brothers on the NES. Yeah. He did a blues version of that song, uh, where. Mario's like lamenting that he can't reach the end of the sea and can't find his princess. It's you just, just go listen to it. <laughs> yeah, you know you can just put a link or something in yeah. the, the description. 
Okay. I I I I thought I could describe it well, and apparently I can't. But uh... no, but that's okay. Just keep talking. <laughs> uh, but his 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 favorite that he's done is he's did song the the, the Wily Castle music from Mega Man Two. And he did a, the same thing for Mega Man Three, I believe. Okay. And uh, but uh, him and the Megas got together because they both did a song off of the Mega Man Two Wily Castle song, song. Yeah. And they kind of combined them together into this badass rock thing. And I had never actually listened to the Megas before, so now I'm listening uh, to the Megas again and the original Mega Man Two soundtrack. Because it's all okay. awesome. Because it's Mega Man, of course. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I, I was thinking about uh, songs uh, recently because you brought up that we should have some to talk about. <laughs> yeah, you sort of said let's talk about soundtrack, so that's natural. Let's start thinking about it then. But they uh, there's actually a. Uh, I found out that the, the only songs I remember are ones that. Like, I like I felt some emotional response to. Mm. Uh, like usually, I don't really care about game soundtracks at all, which is okay. Which is why, like, like the the last time we talked about game soundtracks, I was like, I don't really have any, because <laughs> because um, I just don't usually pay a whole lot of attention. But okay. um. Uh. There are three that I will be looked down upon as my manly for my manliness for saying them. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> but the uh, uh, the opera scene in Final Fantasy VI. Okay, that's okay. You know, Spoony cried too. Yeah, yeah. Um, the next one I didn't actually cry to, but I, I I think it's a really nice song. Is the um, well, it's uh, the boat song. From Lunar Silver Story Complete. Oh my god, I can sing that song. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. I know. Man. I know, I, I, I sound so gay for saying it. It's so fabulous. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, that oh. is so much memories. Well, I have to too, because yeah, I, I played that. I played it when the it first came out on the PS1. Yeah. And I listened to that song, I was like, that song is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember it very strongly because there was a... I didn't really remember it from playing the game at first because I played the game a long time ago when it was released for the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I w there was a flash video sort of thing uh, circulating on the. This is the '90s, I think, or early 2000s. So you know, this was before the internet and YouTube was really huge. Uh, but there was this flash video with a cat uh, s in a box singing this song, and it was so heart wrenching that I went back and I played Lunar. Lunar, the Lunar game, and I cried when it came up. Uh, I, it's it's a glorious song. It's really beautiful. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to d detract our man points there, but okay. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah I, I feel bad because I my, I actually don't have that cop a copy of that game anymore. I, I don't. I played it at a friend actually. So yeah, but there's a used game store nearby that has <laughs> it in the box with all the manuals for. Oh my like, god! Like forty-five dollars. Why haven't you bought it yet? I didn't have forty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fans! If you want to chip in, you know what to give them. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> now, so, uh, yeah, good choice. I like that song. I really and do. and and the last one is a little bit more manly, but still, um, it's a uh, frog's theme from Chrono Trigger. Oh God! Yes. <laughs> Cause, it sounded really kinky right there, but yes, yes, uh, <laughs> God's yes. No, but but I I liked it a lot because um, the, the the it like really struck an emotional chord with me. Like whenever you get the massive moon with him, yeah. and he just cuts that mountain in half. <laughs> he is so fucking awesome. Yeah, he is the coolest knight ever. I remember I played that when it, I played that game when it first came out, and that scene came up, and I was like, "This is the most epic thing I've ever seen in my life." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is really cool. It's I think they when they released Chrono Trigger for the P PlayStation, mm -hmm. I think they yeah. had anime anime cutscenes, and I think that was one of them. Yeah, that was one of the few scenes out of the game that they uh, 
they did the anime scene for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really good. Um, and to chip in a little bit here, go check o ocremixes.org. has a few really good remixes of that theme. Um, so oh. You really should check it out. It's really cool. Yeah, that site in general has some really... Awesome yeah, remixes yeah, let's of plug everything. Yeah, www.ocremixes.org uh, ocremix is a fabulous site. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, it's always fun to like go in and just click through the list and see what games they have that have been remixed. Oh yeah, but uh, like the reason why I, that I like that song so much, I think, is because it actually kind of, in a real good way, captures what it's supposed to be about like yeah. the frog character you know where he's supposed to be this this nobleman and who's set out for great adventure even you know uh and self sacrificing and all that stuff yeah i, I think the song really captures that really well yeah, and it's it one of the, does. it's one of the few like like i said i don't pay much attention to the soundtracks that much but it's one of the few songs i know of that uh actually made me think this is a really amazing song for the I wish I remember who made the Chrono Trigger soundtrack right now, but me too. <laughs> uh, I can't think. Uh, of I, I pro I'm probably gonna hit myself later when I actually check it up online. Uh, but, yeah. I, I, oh, I, I know, I know, I should know who it is, but I don't. Isn't it? No, never mind. Uh, let's just said, yeah, but that's a really good song. I really love it, actually. Um, and I don't know. I've, I was I tried thinking of a more recent game because you had mentioned you wanted to talk about the Red Alert Three. Yeah, and I think that's a little bit more recent, but uh, yeah, it's like two years old now, three, I think. But yeah, I, I was trying to think of a more recent game, and I don't know. They had there's none that's really struck me in that way, really. No, I think it's rare to find these soundtracks today because soundtracks have sort of moved from really memorable me melodies to really epic stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not saying that soundtracks today are shit because they're not. They're really good still, but, you know, in the days of yore, when you didn't have as much technology behind it, you really had to focus your thoughts or your efforts into making a really memorable, really good song that would stick and sort of, like, uh, really capture the moment. But today, when you're playing an epic fantasy game and you have, like, a thousand-man large choir singing in the background, you know, it's... It's not the same thing. It's gonna be epic either way. So they just don't really have to do it the same way anymore. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. Like, um, I think they've gotten good with the orchestral pieces and the, the choirs and everything yeah. of like setting music for a scene specifically, like yeah. for a battle scene more specifically recently. But it doesn't. I haven't really had a game where. The song, like a character came on, and the song started playing. It was their song, and the song actually made you think of that character. I. Well, there is one actually that I can say. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the Halo theme. Uh, oh the one yeah. Where they play in the beginning. That is a good song because it really makes me think. Not Halo, but Master Chief. Uh, because it's sort of his theme, and it's really good, and it has a really good melody to it, too, if you really look at it, and if you really want to be, you know, gay and talk about stuff like that. But uh, hey, yeah. it has a really good melody about to it that that is really rare to find today, because it's not, you know, they don't focus on that stuff anymore, so. It's not about character, it's about killing stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. But yeah, I, I really, um, I actually didn't think about it before. But, you know, again, I watched, ex watched extra credits and they brought up just this. And I was like, shit, yeah, they're right. Damn. They beat me to it again. Uh, <laughs> those assholes. Those assholes. Why do they keep making me think about things? <laughs> but, yeah, I can really suggest. That's one of the few songs that I can really think of. Like, yes, that's, that's true. That has a good melody to it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the last one I could... I, I was trying to think of something more recent, but the last one I could think of really was the um, uh, it was for uh, Silent Hill Two, because mm. because the guy who did the soundtrack for that I actually know that one. I okay. do know who made the soundtrack for that one. It's right, Akira right, Yamaoka. Akira yeah. Yamaoka. I am one hundred percent sure it's him. <laughs> All right. Good job. <laughs> we, 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 we we both actually knew one for once. Yeah, he's no, awesome. He's but, good, he is. 
But like, it seemed like they actually. This is the last game I actually played where I know that the guys when they were making it were like, we have to have a soundtrack <laughs> that goes with the game mm. and is memorable and like fits the game and is its own level of depth. You know, yeah, it, is. Uh, it definitely is. Like even uh, the other the other Silent Hill games, like they have good soundtracks and stuff. And I, I really have to say like. That I prefer the first one, huh? but yeah, that's. Per- I, I like the Silent Hill one soundtrack better, but. Uh, well, I, I really mind, like. <laughs> I really like the songs for like three and onwards, where mm. uh, they have the female singer in it. And again, mm. I've blanked on her name. I always blank on her name. Oh, yeah. She, those songs I really enjoy, but mm. as for you know, backing up the setting and. Enhancing the depth of the game, I don't think they really do that. Mm. Really? I don't know. No. It's just my own bias, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. We, we're allowed to be biased here. Uh, I'm going to mention a few more soundtracks really quickly here because I think we have to round it up here. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking about when you were talking about Chrono Trigger, and I thought of uh, three other RPGs that... If I think of RPG songs, those are actually the ones that come to mind. And it's Illusion of Gaia, Soul Blazer, and Terranigma for the SNES. Uh, they are by far, in my eyes, the best RPGs you can ever find, you can ever hope to find. They are absolutely amazing games, and they have beautiful soundtracks, and I cannot stress that enough. They have absolutely gorgeous soundtracks that I can listen to today, and I can still remember exactly how I felt as a kid when I played those. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's... I really suggest anyone who hasn't played the Quintet games, go do it. They also made Act Racer. Um, See, I've never actually played those games outside of Act Racer. You should. You should really go get them. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, Terranigma wasn't released in America, actually, so, you know, sort of a European thing. Uh, oh, but, okay. Uh, but you can find it online today. But the really funny thing is that an, an, an unopened Terranigma SNES cartridge with the packet and everything, it sells for about, oh, maybe $600 today on the internet. Probably more. Oh, wow. Yeah, I will and pick I it up have right one now. of those. I have one of those. Uh, so it's the jewel of my game collection. An, an, an unopened box of Terranigma complete in plastic wrapper and everything so uh, now you're gonna have people harassing you to, to try and get yeah they can you. buy it you know just make a good <laughs> offer and i'll buy i'll sell it i really will <laughs> you know but you have to make a good offer <coughs> uh, but yeah Jeez. so check out those soundtracks and check out the games they're absolutely amazing uh, so uh, we actually yeah he- you were yeah we here, uh, I, I think I, I think you're about to say too that uh, we're we're Reaching up, yeah. reaching up at the end here. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. That means we have to do it in two weeks again or something. <laughs> but we'll probably be back next time talking a little bit more about games as a topic and not just, you know, what soundtracks we like and such. Uh, but we wanted mm-hmm. to start off a little bit slower in this new year. Uh, yeah, more yeah. more laid back. Yeah, we didn't want to spark up con- controversy and, you know, get everybody hating us already, you know, mm-hmm. New Year, so. No, but uh, something I just thought of, if if anyone has soundtracks that they think are really amazing, they should post what those yeah, soundtracks are. Yeah, good idea. And we can sort of listen to them, and if we agree, we can sort of talk about them. Um, yeah. I love game soundtracks. I have tons of game soundtracks. Um yeah, so, I'm, I'm really worried about that. Like, if people like, I don't listen to the game soundtracks while I'm playing the game. But if people point them out later, I'll be like, "Oh yeah, that is really good." But, <laughs> uh, um, but in general, I really hate electronic music. Like, okay. like you hear it, like dance club kind of stuff and just electronica oh, yeah. kind of stuff. Mm. I really hate it. <laughs> but for games, I for some reason am cool with. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our quirks. It's pretty okay. Uh, but yeah, if you want us to talk more about game soundtracks, I think we'd love to. At least I would too. So, 
Um, vote thumbs up for this video if you really want us to talk about soundtracks. And uh, now we get no thumbs up at all. Aww. Uh, but anyway, I think that's enough for today. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else we should say? Like, <sighs> no. Nope. Do we have any New Year's pr promises or New Year's vows to make? Uh no, I, I stopped doing that because I never follow through with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good reason to stop. Um, anyway, I think that's everything from us today. Mm -hmm. um, Happy New Year, and I hope you had a great Christmas. I know I did. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. You got a PS3, so you cannot complain. I got introduced to HD. It's like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like a totally new game experience now. That's right. It makes the game so uh, much better. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, let's end that on a high note, and I guess that's goodbye for now. All right. Goodbye, everyone.